Hi YouTube. Apsara Absolute or Apsara Platinum. Which is the better pencil? We're going to talk about that. Well, I just recently did a video on the Apsara Absolute, and uh, it has a lot of similarities to the Apsara Platinum. Several things that it describes here as being extra dark and comes with a sharpener and comes with an eraser and you know, a superior quality wood and which is better? Is one better than the other? Are they the same except they just look different, different box? Well, this was the Apsara Absolute that I did in the previous video. And here's the Apsara Platinum that I did some months ago in a video and I had described the Apsara Platinum as a pencil that is one of my top pencils, one of my favorites. Um, I have a few that are just my absolute go-to, gotta have it on my desk pencil and the Apsara Platinum is just is one of those pencils that if it's the only pencil that I end up with with all other pencils gone I will be just fine and, and, and happy with it. And the same with the 2014 Norikas uh, from Stedler. Another pencil that if it was the only pencil I had to use, I would be absolutely happy with it. And uh, it's just, you know, as far as being dark and smooth, these are the things that I look for in a pencil. One of the things that people enjoy about the Blackwing, for example, is because it's a dark and smooth pencil and thus it's very enjoyable to write with. Now I'm going to pull out, for example, a Blackwing pencil here. Now this here is the Palomino Blackwing, which is the darkest pencil that they make. And while I'm at it, my favorite Blackwing is the Pearl because it's between the 602 and this black wing and so it gives me a dark enough lead smooth but doesn't wear down as fast as this one so I'm going to go ahead and just use the pearl here and one of the things about writing with the black wing for example is that it's absolutely smooth and dark and it just glides and, and they say it writes like butter and uh, let me just write here, Palomino Blackwing Pearl. That, that is just a really, really pleasurable pencil to write with. I just enjoy it. I like the fact that it's smooth. I like the fact that it's not a light pencil, that it's more on the darker side. And... Um, it just won't tire my hands uh, from writing for long periods of time and you know it's it's hard for me to describe you know the degree of pleasure one gets from writing with a black wing as opposed to another pencil but it's just it is a very um, it's a very smooth and dark pencil and it will of course wear quicker than one that's lighter. Now, it's a $2 pencil. So when we are looking for everyday pencils, we don't want to use a luxury pencil like the Blackwing, because the Blackwing is a luxury pencil. And we're just jotting notes or whatever. Um, sorry about that with the camera shake. You know, I'm, you want a pencil that's going to run you, you know, 10, 20, 30 cents each rather than $2. 
and that's where these Apsara pencils really shine. Um, the Apsara, in this case it's the Platinum, as you can see it is also a dark pencil and you, while you can't see it I can tell you that it is a very smooth pencil. Now how smooth is it in comparison to the Blackwing? Well, let me see. You know, it's hard to discern a difference except that psychologically perhaps, I don't know, but I just get the sense that the Blackwing is smoother. But the Platinum Apsara, you know, it, it feels very smooth too. Uh, perhaps, you know, we're talking about the Pearl being a 10 and perhaps the Platinum being a 9.8, for example. I mean, it's just, it's just so close. And if you look at the actual tonal quality, it's hard to see any difference in darkness from my $2 pencil and my Apsara Platinum. Okay, now the Apsara Absolute is the other pencil that we're comparing here in this video. Let me get a, another sheet of paper here. We're getting out of camera range. So we have the, the Apsara Absolute. Okay, it's another dark pencil. And it's also smooth. And in comparison to this Apsara, which is the Platinum, which is a dark pencil, which is smooth. It's really hard to determine if there's any kind of a difference. I would have to believe that they are pretty much the same. So let me go ahead and zoom that in for you and you can see the Apsara Absolute are the first two lines on the top and the Apsara Platinum are the bottom two lines. And then the scribbles here, you can see the Absolutes on the left, Platins on the right. They seem to be the same. They feel the same. They feel the same to me. It's hard to discern any difference. So, the next thing that I would need to do is to get a little more scientific here, and that is to introduce the light box and the MB grading, but instead of the MB grading, I'm just going to compare these two head to head. And so I've already gone ahead prior to starting the camera and I shaded to saturation two rectangles, the absolute on the left, and the platinum on the right. And again, if you're not familiar with how I do this, I always hold the pencil way at the end here so that all you have is paper, pencil weight and it's shaded up and down, left and right, and then diagonally this way and then diagonally this way to saturate the paper um, as best as possible and to get the most accurate shading to where it's so saturated that you can sit there and you can shade and shade and shade and it just won't get any darker. It's saturated. Now, if you look at these two under a magnifying glass, and I'm going to go and bring the even higher powered circle in here. You don't, I don't see any difference in darkness between these two. Let's see how much I can zoom in without it going out of focus here. Okay, we're losing it there. Okay, here we go. Great. Let's scoot that up. 
there. So again, the absolutes on the left, the platinum's on the right. There's the platinum. There's the absolute. I see no difference. They're just they're equally as dark. So I have to say that the pencils are the same. It seems to be that they're they're identical in tonal quality. They're identical in smoothness. Get the light back on in here. And if you recall from my previous video that the absolute was an MB grade of 3B. So both the absolute and the platinum would be a 3B. Um, and I hope that that's what it was when I did the MB grade on the platinum before in a previous video. I'll have to go back and take a look at that. But they, they look identical and since this isn't 3B, I'm going to give that a 3B. So we'll call that the updated rating for the platinum if it's not the same. If it is, great. I'm glad it's consistent. And the only other thing then is deciding on the two. If one is less expensive than the other, I do know that I spent less money for the Platinum than I did for the Absolute. And the appearance, which do you prefer? You per this particular, I can't even describe this muddy, bronzy looking color here with this powder blue tip. If you like that color, you would go, you can go with the Absolute. If you like the dark blue on silver, then I would go with this. And so my personal choice, if I have to pick between these two, I'm just going to stick with my Apsara Platinum. It was less expensive, easy to get. I like the paint job better. And um, I just think it looks better. But that's my personal choice. Anyway, if you like this video and this review, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.